Hello, good morning, Friday, September 8th. I'm getting ready to hop in the car and head up north to the Superior Hiking Trail and the North Shore. John and Alex had the great idea to get us all registered for the Superior Trail Marathon. So we are heading up there today and we'll be completing the marathon tomorrow, uh, starting at 8 a.m. Back in spring, uh, John and Alex had the awesome idea for all of us to run the marathon portion of this weekend's fall uh, Superior Trail race races together, uh, the Moose Mountain Marathon. It is a uh, beautiful Friday, a beautiful sunny Friday. I was able to actually get a little jump on Alex and John and, and their crew, so I am currently in the car on my way up uh, to the Lutzen Ski Lodge and am going to check in and grab our race packets and swag. John and Alex and Peyton and Tanya won't be getting on the road until a little later this afternoon. Uh, so I will be seeing them about sometime between 8.30 and 9 o'clock tonight. Packet pickup was a success. Got all of our bibs. Got to meet a ton of people. Uh, the ultra running community is such a such an amazing group of folks. So got to see people that I knew. Uh, met a bunch of people that I didn't know. Had uh, dinner with some folks from Montana and Utah and Minnesota and all around. And uh, just rolled into uh, the condo here, John and. Tanya sounds like Tanya's uh, friend's condo here. Just uh, it's 8:30. Gonna get unpacked, and hopefully expect John and Tanya and Peyton and Alex in about 30 minutes, and spend some time with them. And we will see you in the morning for a Superior Trail Marathon. Gorgeous. <laughs> Hello world, wake me up to another good, good morning, time to go. Got that smile upon my face, cause there's excitement in the chase, this I know. Yeah, I'm going for the ride, and by myself I am alive, and I saw. Still I run towards the wind And let the challenge draw me in Cause I want more Oh, we are all looking for How many tents you got in there? How many nights are you camping? Four nights. Why? What's your why? Ask Alex why I take you, but you must have been mistaken. Definitely the challenge of it and just the atmosphere of being out here with other people. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty that's cool just to uh, be part yeah, of it. Just eat. We need goals. Finish number one. Two knees. Two knees. 
Goonies. Have fun. Enjoy the atmosphere. Enjoy the, Enjoy the crowd, the weather. Meet up north. I love it. What's your goal, Rob? My goal is to have fun with you guys. That's all, that's all why I'm here. 100%. Before we get into it, we're going to get through some housekeeping. A big thing that we do with these trail marathons. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we're going to count it down from five, four, three, two. You're not going to make it, Scott. Go! You guys are winning! And then after that you enter the river. I would. <laughs> oh yeah, the 50 miler is getting on the... What was that? I call my late. You guys turn the left? After you. Get after you. All right, we are over five miles in, and boy, does it feel good to be back on this trail again. <laughs> Beautiful morning, great start, uh, overcast, perfect temperature, just wonderful, wonderful to be out here. Busy, a uh, lot of people doing this. Um, we got a great pace going. Uh, we are a couple miles away from the first aid station, I think. I think it's about eight miles in. So we have a great pace going. Just out for a little walk in the woods. Free is a bird in the sky, that is what you are. Seven and a half miles in, the herd has finally thinned out a little bit. <laughs> Took a while when you're on a single track. Uh, again, the weather is just beautiful. Overcast, which is awesome, so not too hot. Humid though, uh, pretty pretty humid, but um, we should be coming into, I think that first aid station for us is about eight miles, So, and we're headed downhill, so we should be coming up on this first aid station soon and I am looking forward to the buffet. <laughs> He's got, he's got a tent, he's got a backpack, he's or a, a sleeping bag, he's ready. Prepared, yeah. ready for anything. Yeah, you could fall and need to sleep overnight. <laughs> thought you were the traveling medic. What do you got? PB&J. Oh, breakfast of champions. How you doing? I'm doing great. We're off to a great start. Breakfast. Good breakfast. 
Pickles? Yeah, pickles. Oh, that's a good idea. Pickles? Bad pickles. Purple. Where where are we at? Temperance. We're at Temperance. Alright, we are 8.1. Temperance aid station 8.1 in. We have 5.3 to Sawbill. We think we have to go up after this. I mean, inevitably, we always have to go up after an aid station, I suppose, but. Should be good. Yeah. You want more? Uh, sure, one more. You guys right. better roll in front of me. Alright, you need to go. Maybe, uh, get up. bottom of the river here and we are now on our way up to Carlton Peak and if memory serves me correctly uh, this is uh, this would be a good little amount of work that we put in to get to the top of Carlton uh, Peak here and up and over Did you do this part? No. Nope. You didn't? <laughs> this is... Oh, I remember this. This is intense. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think that's kind of... Well, that was fun. Top of Carlton Peak. I don't know the elevation, but all that big granite kind of bouldering towards the top, stairway to heaven. And now we are heading about a mile down. Uh, should be about a mile to the next aid station. So, yeah. I don't remember Carlton Peak. Well, I remember it, but uh, kind of blurry from the, from the other race. We're halfway. <laughs> all right, all systems go. Alex, here's Alex. Alex doing well. Alex. Right here. Halfway. Halfway. All right. All, right. All, right. all right. Bye bye, Sawbill. Next stop, Oberg. Mountain. Mountain. Mountain? mountain. Oberg Mountain. Oh, yeah. It is a mountain. It's Oberg a mountain. mountain. So, yeah. back great, home. Great, great, great grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> Fun. 
<laughs> I love this. This is so awesome. Look at that, look at how pretty that is. Isn't this gorgeous? Just absolutely beautiful to be out here. What a, yeah, just still an epic, awesome, great day. I probably should check in. So we've been running about four, four and a half hours. Um, we've gone 17, 17 miles, four and a half hours, 17 miles uh, so far. Got about another mile to the aid station. And we've gone, let's see, it's saying about 4,000 vertical feet. So all systems are green. Beautiful. Um, so one more, one more aid station, uh, some place in the 18 to 19 mile uh, mix, and then then we just bring it in home. Uh, and then it's then it's just to the end. But we have moose and something else mountain <laughs> in that seven miles before the end. So that should be fun. But we're doing great, Alex and John. We we ran really good. That that first half marathon was. Uh, awesome, ran super fast, uh, and now we're just soaking it in, enjoying it, enjoying all the roots. <laughs> You hear that? That's the sound of an aid station. Last one, Oberg aid station. Maybe they have mashed potatoes. potatoes we found them finally have been waiting all day these are the best the only reason I'm running today <laughs> delicious he's got signal <laughs> .2, 2 miles left. We're, we're done with all the big climbs. We're starting to come out of the hills, heading down. Trail's gonna open up into a, the road here pretty quick, so two miles left, which as we know is actually really one mile left because the last mile never counts. So one mile left. We are out of the woods. Got an upgraded path, a little bit wider. That's always a good sign. One mile left. We are in the free mile zone. Perfect. I don't even feel anything anymore. All right, the first of Alex's many trail marathons. Yeah, it's about number done. one in the book. Number one. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Oh yeah, it would be great. It's oh so yeah. Awesome. <laughs>
Minnesota, finishing up his sixth marathon here is Brian Ayers. Here comes a crew of marathoners. We have Alex and John Oberg and Robert Peterson. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Look at that here, hey, there you go. Yes, awesome. Ah, the morning after. Uh, we just woke up, or I just woke up a little bit ago. Had some great time to just sit on the deck and look at Lake Superior and, and relax. Uh, and just thinking about how always uh, very thankful for the volunteers and everyone that works uh, to put these races on. Uh, they're, they're special, this area is special, that trailer is special. Uh, it's definitely something that draws you back. Um, and I have no doubt we will be back. Uh, not sure if it'll be next year or when, but uh, definitely more superior adventures to come. Um, so just thankful for the opportunity as always to, to get on the trail and, and push my body and push my mind and get out there. So uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs>